Dudes and dudettes, Halloween is my jam. Absolutely my favorite holiday of the entire year. I love all the holidays, but I have a special affinity for Halloween. And in this episode, we're going to uh, pull back the curtains, reveal how I consume over 10,000 calories of Halloween candy and not completely implode. <laughs> Welcome to the CrossFit Edwardsville Community Podcast, where we hear and learn from our coaches, CrossFitters, and Glen Ed community leaders. Now, here are your hosts, Dallas and Greg. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the CrossFit Edwardsville Community Podcast, where we do get to talk with our coaches, we get to talk with our CrossFitters, and occasionally chat it up with some of our local business owners and or leaders. Uh, I'm so excited to have you here, Dallas, with you, your co-host, and with me always is Coach G. Skell. G, how you doing, brother? Better now. <laughs> so, so this is going to be a fun one. So everybody, the uh, Halloween has passed. We are now in full sprint toward uh, November and Thanksgiving and all of that. But um, I'm going to set this up here for just a moment because everyone needs to understand Coach G is dialed in on his nutrition 362 days of the Perfect. year. 362 days of the year. It might be 363, depending on what day. Yeah, depending on falls. when Halloween falls. Um, so, yes. so this man has held a sub 10% body fat level for what, 10 years now? More than that now, I think, yeah. More, okay, so 11 or 12 years now. He's He lives at sub 10%. For those of you not keeping score on that, uh, that's incredibly lean. And that is like competitive athlete level body fat. Whereas the average American, I think like normal for a guy is somewhere between 12 to 16 percent g if, a, if normal I'm, for a guy oh no no no. 25 to 30 percent is normal well, well no i'm not talking like i'm talking standards what a good standard would be for like a non-dad bod quote unquote yeah it's like sub sub 18 percent body sub 18, fat for a guy okay. great great starting point absolutely so, so in the united states the average level is 25 percent fat mm -hmm. or above yeah. So yeah. Coach G is living at sub 10%. So I want to set this up. This is important to the setup. And, and G's normal consumption is around around three to 3,500 3, calories a day? Yeah, about 3,500. Okay. So, now, this uh, is a guy very... who's CrossFitting, who's training other CrossFitters, who's got a very active lifestyle, 3,500 calories a day. In case you're not keeping an idea on what that is, when you look on the back of a package, it says – these numbers based on a 2000 calorie diet. I don't think it a single American hits that unless they're intentionally focused on that. Sure. Um, but, but for the average FDA, 2000 calories per day um, for us, you're not, you're not burning a ton at that. You know, that's like, right. You know, unless you're right. in weight loss mode, you're not burning much. You're very sedentary. If all you're doing right. is sitting around and my, burning too. And my, my 3,500 is very intentional. It's very, yes. everything is portioned out. Yes. And, and delicious. Uh, to, to be to be clear, like 3,500 calories, foods that I love eating, they're all healthy foods. Yeah. It's, you know, this much protein, this much carbohydrate, this much dietary fat, yeah. tons of vegetables, some fruit. Very nutrient, of, very nutrient dense. You do extremely not nutrient dense. what we yeah. call empty calories for 362 right. to 363 days of the year right but and this man, i love it I, I, I love it too like i i yeah. i I'm eating foods that i love to eat i really enjoy my breakfast lunch and dinner every single day yep it's awesome yeah but yeah. halloween but halloween comes and this man uh not only does he loosen the belt he completely throws it in a drawer for those two <laughs> to three days he, first of all, we've gone out, we've done the haunted house thing, like the weeks leading up to Halloween, there are festivities. Uh, G is usually carving not one, but two or three pumpkins. Like this oh, is yeah. a man who loves Halloween. So I felt I needed to set that up because sure. people are going to see this title on YouTube, how to eat 10,000 calories of Halloween candy and not feel like absolute trash. They're going to see that and they're going to click because it's good clickbait language or they're going to see this header uh, in our podcast and they're going to go, how to eat 10,000 calories yeah. and on your average 3,500. So you are tripling in one day your yes. normal nutrient dense rich foods yes. for twice, three times as much of just empty sugar candy bars. And um, we're going to talk about how you do it without feeling like trash. But I have yep. to say, 
what's your favorite go-to candy when you're trick-or-treating and you get that uh, candy that's your fave? The, a lot, there's a lot of them that I love. Uh, this year, a lot of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and the the many, many derivatives. Reese's right. has Pumpkins. so many offshoots. Right. The Reese's Twins, the Reese's Mini Cups, like the Reese's Take Five, uh, yep. the Reese's Fast Break. There's a bunch of them. So all the variations of Reese's and Kit Kats were my go-tos this year. But it could change from year to year. Gotcha. Yeah, Kit Kat's an easy one. Kit Kat, I think, is like that's stalwart. It doesn't change. They don't vary that formula. That, right. That's pretty stalwart for me um there's there's a dentist in the neighborhood that gives away full-size candy bars and sodas to the kids wow, and i really? just said to him i said to him you're just creating customers and he goes it's all yeah. a write-off yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thumbs up he says it's a write-off but uh but he gave me a full-size butterfinger that was like my halloween yes this, that's great butterfinger and Kit Kat. those are go-tos for me but uh, butterfinger right, so, are in the list this year too butterfinger Payday. Well, and I think Hershey's. people need to know you're still tracking these too. Like you track. Absolutely. I have Actually, my fitness pal. It's yeah. all documented. Yes. All documented in his fitness pal. So he can log it and go, all right. So, so G, the question becomes, how do you rip off the belt, throw it to the side, mm -hmm. jump two feet into the deep end mm -hmm. for really only two days a year, yeah. uh, sometimes three, and not feel like you just got derailed off track or just – Truth be told, sugar high or garbage, you feel like trash. Yeah. How, how, how do you not do that? So I have a strategy that I follow. And the, the, the key thing is that all the healthy foods I've eaten the rest of the year, I eat all those exact same foods on the days of Halloween. So case in point, right? I'll have my, my exact same normal breakfast as I usually do. And all of that is exactly like portioned and balanced and all the macros are tweaked just right. Yep. And then what happened is, I will wait until hunger arrives. And when it does, I'll have some Halloween candy. And I'll eat Halloween candy until I was saying that not eating Halloween candy or any like real crap at all for 362 days a year, I'm very ac acutely aware of when I'm having a metabolic response to some yeah. kind of foods. So I'll eat Halloween candy until I can just start to feel okay. This is starting to get to me a little bit, and then I'll stop. And then I'll wait, I'll have my usual lunch, get full on that, start eating Halloween candy. And I'll go until I start to feel it bug me a little bit, then I'll stop. Yeah. Then I'll wait until the hunger returns, and then start eating Halloween candy, and then stop when I start to feel it get to me a little bit. Yeah. And I thought about this a lot, and I think that at a hormonal metabolic level what's happening is i've given my body all the nourishing stuff first yeah and so i'm leading off with the proteins and the dietary fats and the vegetable carbs which are all like typically like slower burn stuff yep. in the body yep. so then when i take this halloween candy and i throw it on top and create a dumpster fire out of it <laughs> then what's happening is my body <laughs> already has a head still start. intact <laughs> so, yeah what's happening is like my body has a head start on like, like the the blood sugar impact is buffered by all the healthy stuff that's already in there sure and so the impact is not as violent or adverse like yeah. my body's already kind of slow absorbing everything that's already in there yeah and i think yeah. that they, it treats the candy the same way the other thing is that like, i'm not i'm not eating like i'm trying to knock the wheels off the wagon like i'm right. I'm, I'm pumping the brakes periodically throughout yeah. the session so that I'm never, not really pushing myself into a state of sickness. Sure. But it ends up being a lot of food over the course of the day. So I did yeah. this exact yeah. pattern on day one, and then I woke up, I did the exact same pattern on day two. So day one, about 10,300 calories, and then just about an identical, identical layout for day two. So the course of two days, I consumed – about 20,600 calories. But following this exact pattern of always leading off with the healthy food and then chasing it with the chocolate yeah. was allowed me to keep functioning like a human being and really get out. And like I felt, I felt pretty good on do you, Monday do you extra morning. hydrate or are you keeping your hydration levels pretty much the same? This, this is a great question because on an average day, I typically drink about a gallon of water. Right. I do feel that when I'm consuming more Halloween candy, it makes me more thirsty. And I probably yeah. am drinking more water also. Okay. But 
everything else, all the vitamins that I take, all that is exactly status quo. That said, like when I came in, uh, when I came into uh, to Monday, I kind of felt like deep down inside of me, I had this feeling that I think I'm starting to hit a threshold where I'm not really like, I kind of don't even want to eat any more Halloween candy. Mm. So I had a lot of Halloween candy on Monday also, but it was a lot less than the Saturday, Sunday combination. Sure. Um, sat, Monday morning, I went into the gym and I'm following this particular lifting program yeah. from my coaches. Yep. Shout out. And it had me doing max reps of a back squat at 250 pounds. Okay. Like the last time I did 250 pounds, I think I did like 10 reps. Yeah. It was a 10 rep max day. And so I came in, like I could tell that my system was a little fuzzy. Sure. A little sure. fuzzy from the last two days of the candy bender. But I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to see where this goes. I'm going to yeah. just let the chips fall where they may. And the objective was work my way up to 250 pounds and do as many reps as possible in one set. Go until gravity wins. Yeah. In Dallas, I'm, I'm super excited to say on Monday morning, I set a lifetime PR. What? I back, what? I back squatted 250 pounds for 20 unbroken reps before gravity won. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, powered by Halloween candy. That's right. Powered by Halloween candy. So brought to you. This PR brought to you by Reese's <laughs> and Kit Kats. <laughs> by the I, I, that. That. I got legit. I came in. I was thinking I'm going to get eight or nine reps, but I just yeah. the, the point is like I, I was pleasantly surprised by how well I was still able to function by yeah. following this game plan. Now, obviously, like I'm not doing this all the time. As of today, today right. is November first. I'm right back to my regularly scheduled healthy eating. Yep. But that is how I keep the damage contained into a, a neat. But that's how I keep the uh, the dumpster fire contained when least, I'm going off the deep end at Halloween. At least you kept it kept it contained. Um. No, this was very funny because before we started recording, he said, "Guess how many calories I took in," and I was, and I thought, "Well, okay, what's your normal?" Because then I thought he at least doubled that, yeah. and you were, and you just said keep going up. I was like eight thousand, keep going up. Nine thousand, keep going up. Uh, so that's that's fun. But but I do think the idea, guys, that um, that you don't have to you don't have to set fire to the whole thing. You know, you can right. you can have a controlled burn every now and again, and sometimes that helps clear away the brush if you need it. I mean, you and I've talked other. Yeah. Previous programs like um, Bill Phillips' Body for Life and stuff, he had full days. It was like, go go hard to the paint for six days and then relax a little on day number mm -hmm. seven. Because he, um, obviously, not everybody is living sub 10% body fat. But the idea that um, every now and again you go, yeah, you know what? Let's just, let's just let it loose. But let's not let it get out of control. And let's make sure we get back on the horse when the time is up. Right. And to be it's clear, intentional. it's intentional. Yeah. This, to be clear, like, and this was a, a game plan that I had right. all along. Like, but to be clear, like, I, I don't want to sell like, I mean, I mean, like encouraging people to go off the deep end with their no. healthy eating or like, I guess uh, over the holidays. But I'll say if you were, if the game plan was to go hard in the paint, as Dallas said, this is one set of tactics you could use yeah. so that you don't walk away feeling terrible so that you don't have a, an enormous energy crash and end up feeling like hell and missing out on the holidays missing yeah. out on amazing joyful memories with your family because you ate yourself into a coma yeah absolutely and and you also don't upset your whole gut biome for the next three weeks you can mm -hmm. easily re get get that back um that's good stuff man so so everybody, uh, if you're enjoying this conversation, if you want to learn how to eat 10,000 calories, yeah. I'm just kidding. Um, one of the big focuses here at CrossFit Edwardsville is we want you to look better, feel better, and perform yeah. better in your day in, day out life because you are, after all, an, a life athlete. So if you're yeah. interested in finding out a little bit more about that, you can just go to the Google machine and you can type in CrossFit Edwardsville. And uh, you can also check us out on all the socials, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. TikTok at 
CrossFit Edwardsville. But at the end of the day, we want you to not just go past all those awesome reviews and say, they seem awesome. We actually want you to have a call with us to tell us how we can help you become awesome too. So you want to go to CrossFitEdwardsville.com, our website, CrossFitEdwardsville.com. You're going to book a no sweat conversation with Coach G or one of our other coaches. Again, how to help you look better, feel better, perform better, where you are now and where you want to be. We want to have that conversation with you. So again, that is CrossFitEdwardsville.com. G, thanks so much for the time today, my man. Always fun hearing how you uh, how you tweak your game a little bit and how you make sure that you're not constantly redialing with intention. I love that. So thank you for today. Hey, thanks for hanging out, man. All of our audience, thanks for joining us today. I hope you guys had an amazing October and look forward to uh, seeing you guys around here for the November and the Thanksgiving episodes coming up soon. 